Last week we saw one of the darkest days in American history. And for better or worse, I was there. It was a day that began with the president holding a rally outside of the White House to push lies about voter fraud and urge his followers to take action to overturn the election. Excuse me, is the sedition happening over here? Is the sedition, is it over here? No doubt. It ain't so. Do you know where the sedition is? We do not consent to be governed. Nor by... shall we ever be consented to be governed by an illegal, fraudulent election. But you elected a guy who also doesn't care much about consent. We do not consent. Will you accept Joe Biden as president of the United States on the 20th? No, I will not accept the president. No, I will not. So look, what I I've educated myself about this. Okay, I don't know all what's in the Constitution. Have you read it? It's pretty short. The Constitution of America? Yeah. I've not read the whole thing, no. You've read the entire thing? Yes, it's remarkably short. All right. I, I doubt that, but it's okay. You should read it, because you might be committing a seditious act in an hour and a half. Okay, I'm not going to comment about that. The people didn't vote for Joe Biden, though. The Dominion system voted for Joe Biden. Do you think it's possible that Hugo Chavez uh, infiltrated the Dominion systems, changed the votes orchestrated by I Joe Biden? I think anything's possible. Do you think it's possible that a president who never pulled above 50% lost the election and is sore about it? Absolutely no. not. <laughs> That's not possible. The one thing you couldn't help but notice was just how many people looked like they were preparing for battle. From the tactical vest to the pitchforks, this rally felt charged. You can tell these people really love America by the number of weapons they brought to hurt other Americans. <laughs> Looks like we got some Proud Boy action. Either that or the Cabela's street team. What's your flag say? Come and take it. Come and take it. Do you have a weapon? No. No? Why not? Did they take it? <laughs> yeah. Sorry, bro. I was worried that we were in trouble, but then I saw that we got the tyranny response team here, and I feel a lot better. Thanks for all you do. And for those supposedly caught off guard, claiming they didn't see this violence coming, if you paid attention to any of these rallies, all you have to do is open your eyes and ears. The message isn't exactly subtle. Make no mistake, we have the guns, and we are now in the streets. We are going to clean this place out one way or another. You look down there, I have one million plus people angry. Very, very angry people. Can I ask why you're carrying a pitchfork? Well, pitchfork is a it's just an iconic representation of how of what people over time have done in this country. Uh, it feels more like a weapon, to be quite honest. No, it's not. It's farm equipment, and it's legal in this in this in this city. Yeah, are you farming today? It's an icon. It's it's a representation. We're not asking for violence right now. I got to tell you, from the movies I've seen, the 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 hordes of people with pitchforks are usually the bad guys. How close do you think we are to 1861? Look. But Seriously. hang on. Are we close? Or... Hell yeah, you are. That's the Civil War. Would you would you rather die on your knees than be free? Aren't you a little bit freaked out about 600,000 Americans die? I see you're not wearing masks. Never mind. This thing was a powder keg. All it took was someone to light the fuse, like these human blowtorches. Let's have trial by combat. Stand up and fight. Stand up and hold your representatives accountable. We're gonna walk down to the Capitol, because you'll never take back our country with weakness. You have to show strength. With those orders, the crowd of economically anxious insurrectionists advanced on the Capitol. So we've been following this protest. We headed to the Capitol, and the Trump supporters just broke through the gates, and they're now heading into the Capitol right now. People are getting waved up towards the Capitol. Take it back. I'm hearing people say, let's go, keep going. Who are you with? The American people. The American people. Are you military? Not answering that. You're not, so you're not military? No. Why are you dressed like military? I'm not. You're just close. Is that camouflage? It is. But you're in an urban environment. Isn't that sort of the antithetical to camouflage? I don't think so. Are you looking to make an aggression action right now? No, I'm looking to make a statement. What's your statement? The election was stolen. We want free and fair elections. Mm -hmm. And if we can't have that in this country, we don't have anything. So what do you plan on doing? We're just going to see how it unfolds. You're going to see how it unfolds. All right. Good luck with the paintball tournament. Yeah. Can, can, I, can I ask you some questions? What's your plan? 
What's your plan? For what? What are you, you're, 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 are you storming the Capitol? No, I'm just going up for a ticket for somebody. This is, is this the last stand? i say it is. This looks like the last stand. Are you afraid if you run out of batteries for the last stand that you'll be thwarted? Uh -oh. Good luck. I hope you don't run into bumpy terrain or stairs. While Segway Stonewall Jackson is laughable on his child's scooter, the rioters brought real weapons and committed real atrocities. They attacked our democracy, our police, and even our cameraman. Does that matter? Hey, you assaulted me! I was saying you assaulted me! Trump's fake tough guy military are literally throwing themselves on the ground to perpetuate victimhood. But the Trump presidency is going to come to an end. This, this seems fitting. A show of aggression ending with a bunch of people screaming at a building without a working understanding of how democracy works. America, 2021. Thunder, cannon, tear gas, let's not wait to find out. In the end, the crowd didn't stop our democracy. Let's take heart in that. This shit-stained rebellion failed.